Hello and welcome back to Heavy Rain. The last episode was all about clubbing. So the clues are getting together. This John Shepard is kind of a guy who took the name of maybe his brother, I think, and trying to compensate all the stuff by being the um, origami killer and um, um, I think maybe he want to say, hey, parents, take care for your kids. And how far are you going to do to take care for your kids? That's what I'm thinking. I have no clue, but maybe this is a solution. We will see. We are going to continue with this guy. With this poor fella. Hello. Hi. Ethan. Are you all right? Huh? I... I killed a man. <laughs> I had no choice. Because I am the killer. I am a killer. I had no choice. You're not the origami killer, Ethan. You're not responsible for those murders. I can prove it. Fine. That changes nothing. Saving Sean is all that matters now. Aww. No kiss. Yeah, why not? Come on. Why not? She's taking care so much. So cute. So romantic. Some more. Saving Sean is all that matters. Now we kiss. Okay. Wait. What the hell are you doing? Saving Sean. Hello. Stop it. What the hell are you doing? Saving Sean. Not. That's not how you're going to save your son? Not even a little. Why? Come on. Ah. Gordian note. Not. You're not in pain at all, huh? No! I have to send some stuff again! Damn it! But not that much. Save your son, maybe? What's up with her eye? Eh. 
What did you do? Yes. Exactly. You gotta save your son. Uh, wait, what? Nothing in there. Wow, impressive. Um... Taking a shower? What have you done? Wasted time to save your son. Ouch. Not going to have a loo. Um, wait. Why should we leave? To save our son, I know, but. What the hell are you waiting for? Do I have to waste some more time? Are we going to leave? Yeah, you should put on your clothes. That's what I told you. Uh, I thought that symbol was for... Um, Sitting bed, uh, back to bed. Now we are going to leave. Do we... Wait. There is a last one? Do we still have something? The last letters, Rainbow Lane. Huh? Wait. There was something which we can do with her jacket. Should we take? We have to. Okay. Don't get suspicious. Don't think that she's doing something wrong. She know more than she know more than you think of. I should have guessed. All this time and I had no idea. What the? Even what's the matter? She's helping us. I thought I meant something to you. Listen, I... You're a pretty good nurse for a fucking journalist! <gasps> Ethan, I, I, I wanted to tell you, but... What kind of article were you gonna write? My life with a serial killer? No, no, no. How I caught the origami killer. Maybe you'll get a book deal. I hope it went fucking worth it. Ethan, it's not what you think. I. You are you not. You lied to me, Madison. All this time, you fucking lied to me. No. I thought you were gonna help me, but you're only thinking of writing a fucking book. No. It's true. I'm a journalist. I knew that you were the father of the boy who had disappeared, and and I wanted to cover the story. But then I saw what you were going through to save your son, and and I understood how much you love him. I wanted to tell you the truth, but I couldn't. 
I was afraid that you... that you... may not believe me. I was afraid that you'd ask me to go. All I want is for you to find your son alive. And when it's all over, I want to be with you. Come on. I'm sorry, Ethan. I'm so sorry. Can we go now, please? You're leaving, aren't you? Yes, to save my son. It's the last origami figure. The last letters, then I'll know where Sean is. Take care, Ethan. I can't lose you now. I'm trying to. No, I'm not, because I want to save my son. It's raining! Is it that hard to understand? Wait. I can go this way, can't I? Yes, I can. Nice. I think I should go the complete way down, no? Let's see... Wait, what? <laughs> What's going on? Um... You gotta leave. Go back. Cops. They're looking for Ethan. It looks like a raid. Holy shit, no. Where was the phone? Hurry. Get to the phone. Come on, what was the damn number? It was 205. No, it was 207. Crap, that's not it. It was 207. Grab it again. 207. 207 is this one. Come on, come on. Leave. Pick up the phone. Hello? The cops. They're in the motel. You've got to get out of here. What are you going to do? Come on. Oh shit. Come on. Wow. Come on, come on, go, 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 come on. This is really important now. Because we are not the origami killer. Go for it. Go for it. Run. Run. Run! Ah, uh, go! Come on, you, you can do it! You, 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 you can do it! Go, 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 go! What? 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 Good, good, good. Come on. Go for it. Go, 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 go.
Anything else? Shit! It's over. On your knees. Hands behind your Come head. Come on! That was a perfect series! Nowhere to go. You're surrounded. Jump. Come on, come on, get up, we have to get our son! That was a perfect series of quick time events. Come on! That was absolutely perfect. Flawless victory! Wow! I'm proud of myself! <laughs> wow! Well, okay, it wasn't that flawless. This shake to the right didn't work. I'm the lover boy. Ooh. Escape Master. Ooh. So, hello. The door is already open. Someone was here. Hey. Someone is here. Lore? Lore. I'm sorry, Scott. You should have listened to me, Mr. Shelby. I told you to drop the investigation. Your son is a serial killer. How many people does he have to kill before you turn him in? Gordy has his faults, but he's still my son. You have no children, Mr. Shelby. You can't possibly understand. You leave me no choice. Your investigation is over. For good. Bum, bum, bum. Wait. They are droning us? Are you freaking? Laura! No! No! Shit! What? Okay, okay, uh, Lauren. Lauren! Lauren, wake up! Okay, come on, come on, Lauren. come on, come on. Come on, come on. Anything to do? Anything there? Lauren? There is nothing I can do. Shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it, baby. Shake it, baby. Oh, 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 oh my gosh. Shake it. Uh, wait. R1. Take this one, R1. And take it. Goddamn fool. Nothing's gonna work if I don't switch on that ignition. Okay, so. Come on. Switch on the ignition. That's fine. So let's do it again. Take this one and take this one. Take it. Take this one. And this one. And. Oh, shit. No, shit. shit. That would be perfect. No, 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 no. Come on. Okay, now. Save Lauren, please. R1. L1. Come on, again. And again. Wake up, Lauren. Wake up, Lauren. What the fuck? Let her there! Are you kidding me? Oh my gosh, why did you do that? You didn't left her alone! 
Why? Why would you do that? Oh my gosh! No! 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 <sighs> wow! Why did you do that? Well... Rampage Charlie? Oh, that was an hour. You got shot. Wow, bam. You have to reload, by the way. You have to reload. No. Second shot I got. Come on. Those quick time events are pretty important. I want to survive. Hello. wanted his fun, you know. He wanted to to be like the origami killer. He kidnapped that kid and he held him under the water for a little too long. It was an accident. An unfortunate accident. He just wanted to play. He told me everything. He was crying. He was so sorry for what had happened. Whatever he did, Gordy... Gordy is my son. No one will miss him. What? That boy, Gordy killed. No one will miss him. The street trash, like so many others. Oh. Are you You're fucking kidding me? Pile of shit. What about John Shepard? Why did you put flowers on his I, grave? I own the construction site where he died. I never forgot. I've been putting flowers on his grave for 30 years. Okay. Twin brothers? John had a twin brother. What happened to him? I don't know. He was adopted, I think. His mother... His mother should know. Who is his it? His name is Anne. Anne Shepard.
That girl, Lauren. She was just a whore. Fuck you. Her in no time. Come and work for me, Shelby. I'll pay you well. You'll be able to have all the girls you want. But never say her name again. You hear me? Never. I could have rescued her. My heart. My heart. Quickly. I need my pills. In that drawer. There. What is? I'm just leaving. Shelby. Come back. I fucking order you. Come back. Oh my gosh, I'm so heartless. Holy moly. Oh my god, what am I doing? I don't even know myself. I killed Lauren. Reception. Emergency. So, hello. hello. Hello, I'm looking for Anne Shepard's room. Please sign the visitor's book. I don't know. Are you a member of the family? Kinda. Yeah, you could say that. Oh, she'll be pleased to have a visitor. No one ever comes to see her. Aww. With the Alzheimer's, she has trouble remembering things, but it'll still please her. You know. Yeah. It's room 19 at the end of the corridor. Room 19. Thank okay, you. thank you so much. So let's get there. Room 19 at the end of the corridor. Hello. I'm faster than you. Wait, take some flowers. Take them? Oh, okay, they're not. 17, 19, 18. So that's 19. No, it's this is one is 20. Sorry. Let's take this one. Hello! Oh, are you there, Anne? Looking for you. Beep. Beep, beep. She's peeping. Hello, Mrs. Shepherd. Is it time for my pills already? No. No, Mrs. Shepherd. I. They're never on time with my pills. I don't know what they do here. In the other hospital, they were always on <coughs> time, but here. Son, it intrudes, my name introduce is Madison yourself. Page. I'm a journalist. I'd like to ask you some questions about your son. I don't like this hospital. The food isn't very good, you know. Second son, John's brothers, Foster's family. Try to remember, Mrs. Shepherd. John's twin brother was placed with a foster family after the accident. What was the name of the foster family? I asked them for a television, you know. Oh, they said oh. I didn't have enough money. It's a pity. I'm I can't give you. Television. I can't give you. Capanos I know Square. what happened at Carnaby Square. Do you remember? Carnaby Square. I think I used to live there a long time ago. Yes. We didn't have much money at the time, you know. Exactly. We had to make do with very little. John's brother. You had a son named John, and John had a twin brother. Do you have my pills? It's time for my pills. Oh, come on. Second son. Your other son, Mrs. Shepherd. John's twin brother. What was his name? What other son? I have no other son. I never had any children. You had. 
I think your son is in trouble, Mrs. Shepard. He's done some terrible things. I need to find him. Do you understand? Do you terrible understand? Terrible things you're telling me. He never came to see me. Can you believe it? In no. ten years, never. No one forgets their mother, do they? No, they don't. John? Do you remember John? My Johnny. He is a good little boy, you know. Mrs. Shepard, your son may be linked to a series of murders. Perhaps you have some information that could help the investigation. Are you a new nurse? Where are my pills? Oh, gosh. Going to check some stuff in here. Maybe I can activate the television. Then she might be happy. Nope. Oh. What's that? Did you make these origami figures? My little paper animals. <laughs> they played with them for hours. I showed my boys how to make them, you know. Yes, your boys, Mrs. Shepard. John and... What was your other son's name again? My other son? I only had one son. My little Johnny. Huh. I don't think so. Okay, let's take something. Okay. Uh, wait. How shall I do that? Uh. Wow. I love origami, but that's not my favorite one. What's your favorite one? Um. Hummingbird? No. Let's take a pig. A, do a doggo. Let's take a doggo. Okay, so... I'm going to use this one and down. And this one. And to the left. Uh, oh. How should I do, even do that? That's insane. I don't have that much space with my fingers. Down, L1, to the left, wait, this one, down, R1, how? Oh, you know how to do these little dogs too. Yay. My children loved origami. I taught them how to do it. John loved the little dogs. He always wanted to call them Max. Max, Max, Max. Max, Max, Max. All dogs with the same name. I was wasting my time telling him they couldn't all have the same name. <laughs> but he always wanted his paper dogs Max. Okay. Funny, isn't it? It is. So, let's take another one. Come on. Let's... What are you... What the hell are you doing? Huh? I need something. What else can I do in here? I have to get some stuff. Flowers? You don't seem to get many flowers, Mrs. Shepherd. No, but I love them. My son knows that I love flowers. I know he'll bring me some. Okay, that's a good point where we are going to grab some flowers. Don't change the scene, please. I want to get those flowers here in the back, take them, and then... Surprise her! Memory. Anne? Alright, no point in wasting my time. I won't learn anything more by staying here. Fuck that, don't leave. 
don't. Oh, come on. Can't be that hard. Maybe then she remembers the name. Is that from my son? No, it's not from John. It's from the other son. And then you can die in peace. Ooh. Beep. What a lovely orchid. Huh. My sons loved orchids. We used to grow them in the back. When John died, I laid orchids on his grave. <sighs> and here's the other. Are these your children, Mrs. Shepherd? John and his brother? Is that them? They're good little boys. What is his name? Their father never looked after them. Always drinking. They didn't have an easy life, you know. Tell me his name, please. I cried when they told me. I'd already lost one of my children, and now they were taking away another one, you understand. The foster family, Mrs. Shepherd. What was the name of the foster family that adopted John's brother? They were really very nice people. I met them, you know. In the beginning, I used to go and see my little boy. And then I got sick and I couldn't go any longer. Perhaps he thought I'd forgotten him. He must have thought I didn't love him anymore. The family's name? His name, Mrs. Shepherd. What was his name? But I loved him. If you only knew how much I missed him. Please, Anne. His name. What was his name? Come closer. Okay. Now, don't die, please. Don't die. I need your memory for having the name of the orchid killer. Is this name even? Five point one one five inches rain. So some more inches and the sun is dead. Origami? The last origami figure. The last trial. The last origami figure. The last, the last trial. trial. So, anything else? The last origami figure. The last, the last trial. trial. Okay. We did three things. And let's see what is happening here. It's so bright. It's hurting my eyes. The last trial. Nine seconds. The last question. Are you prepared to give your life to save your son? There is a deadly poison in this file. It will kill you in exactly 60 minutes. If you drink it, you will get the last letters of the address. You will have enough time to save your son and say goodbye to him, but then you will die. You can drink the file or decide to leave. The choice is yours. Oh well. Go for it. Oh, 
holy moly. Wow. Now what's happening? Theodore Rose Walter Go and rescue your son and say goodbye. I did what I had to, Sean. Your dad's coming to save you. I think that was a bad decision, but I had to do it because otherwise my son would die and <sighs> Maybe we can find an antidote? I don't think so, but hell yeah. We are going to figure this out for the sacrifice in the next episode. So, <laughs> I'm the trial master. Ooh, yeah, because I got them all. Thank you for watching, and we will see each other in the next episode here again. And let's see, continue what's happening here. So take care and bye.